Bippity, boppity, boo. Hi, I'm Kat, and I'm so sorry about the low-grade special effects and the really corny introduction. It's just that I had a pumpkin and now a carriage, and I just couldn't resist. Sorry. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make the Cinderella-style coach or carriage. It's kind of a, a cross between the movie and the one um, in France. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And this is a collaboration done with Walker Colors. She makes these beautiful, beautiful shoes and clothing and accessories for Monster High dolls. So today she has made a Cinderella ball gown and it matches the glass slippers she made in a previous video. So I hope you guys enjoy both the videos and I'm gonna leave the link to um, Walker Colors channel and to her two videos as well in the description box. So don't forget to stop by and subscribe to her as well. So I'm going to start by using a 3 liter Coke bottle and when I first um, envisioned this project I was thinking about having the resin on this just being slightly sheer tinted with a light bluish white or something but it didn't go that way and um, I've discovered since then that if you want to do the same project but you don't want to play with the resin you can just blow up a balloon and wrap that in paper mache you know that old project so um, using the coke bottle though I cut off the neck and also I cut the bottle into thirds and discarded the middle portion. Now I'm using some nail polish remover with acetone in it to rub off the date stamp and also to loosen the glue. I bought these condiment caps at Walmart a few weeks back and I've been really enjoying their uses. So I'm going to use two of the tops now. I cut off the sides of one and kept the other one whole. I pushed the whole one up into the very top of the neck of the top part of the bottle and glue that in place with E6000. And then I cut a door shape, an oval, into both the top and the bottom so that they'll connect. Preserve the door pieces and glue those together. I used E6000 to glue this together and I will be using E6000 for most of this video with the exception of a couple of times where I'm using super glue. Now at this point the glue is very apparent and I know it's gonna be seen through the resin so I decided to give this a light blast of spray paint and this is just the regular little white spray paint not even the specific plastic made one. So I use masking tape or painters tape to cover over the window and once the spray paint was dry I used a little bit of the nail polish remover again to clean up any excess spray paint. Initially, I covered this in metallic white paint. I used two coats, but I really decided I didn't like how it looked. So I ended up painting both sides, but I ended up covering this later, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. For the inside, I started with a small floor that was made with the packaging from any sort of um, cardboard box. I spray painted this white as well and glued that in place again with E6000. Then I mixed up a little bit of resin and I poured that onto the top portion of the top part of the coke bottle and a little bit into the bottom portion. I used a piece of condiment cup cap that I cut off earlier and pushed that in between and I also was sure to cover the door. Then I poured a little bit more resin to cover the condiment cap at the top of the bottom. I used the remainder of the resin to pour over the other side, the top portion. And now I'm going to use the tip of my paintbrush to just wrap this resin all the way around. 
That way you're smoothing out any drips. Then I use a painter's tape to build a dam on each of the sections where the bottle dips downward. Fill those channels with resin as well and allow them to cure. So you can see here the finished version. There are some paint drips that I didn't manage to catch. So it's okay, I'm gonna go over this again with the second coat. But I glued the top to the bottom at this portion, at this point time. And this is where I decided I was gonna change the color of the resin. So I'm using a little bit of Pearl X powder in gold and also in white, in addition to some of the white paint. This is going to keep this, uh, this formulation very sheer still, but it also just warms it up because I'm going to be using gold wire with this and I want that gold to really look um, warm and not stark against the white. If you don't have Pearl X powder, you can also consider eyeshadow and also any of the sparkly powders that you find in cake decorating, soap making, or resin sections in your local craft supply store. Now for the wheels, I'm using a 16 gauge wire, but I really wish I'd have gotten more 10 gauge wire. And I'm also using a skewer stick as the axle, but I really wish I'd have used a quarter inch dial. I cut the wheels and spiraled them into three inch sections for the back wheels and two and a half for the top. And now I'm gonna use this extra jumble popsicle stick. And this is just as a guideline for the length of the area between the wheels. So I measured where I wanted the wheels to go and I marked off the center line. That's the section that's circled. Now I'm using my thicker 10 gauge wire. And I'm gonna basically just curve this around where it's gonna wrap around the axle. And then the top portion is going to go straight up into the air. I made three of these pieces, almost identical, and then I used a thin piece of wire to wrap around all three and secure them. I also drizzled super glue all between that middle section, and then I topped it off with E6000 and put a small piece of a clipping from an extra jumble popsicle stick in the center. This is just going to stabilize the actual pumpkin. Now, to decorate the top portion of the pumpkin and just to add a little more def definition, I'm going to use some more wire. And I'm basically going to just super glue that to the top and tape it in place while it dries and bring it all the way to the bottom to wrap it. To make a small curtain for the inside door, I'm using a small piece of tool. I just twisted it in the center and glued it in place. And while I did end up making an interior for this, as you can see, the door ended up being so, um, I had so many coats of resin on it that you really couldn't see the inside. So I decided to omit the furniture. I'll use that at a later date for something. Now I'm also gonna use an 18 karat gold uh, leafing pen. And I'm just gonna go around the door and around the window and draw a C on the front. Using small one inch pieces of wire, I made these into curly cues. And then I placed those on the very, very back of the carriage where one of the groomsmen will be holding on. I used some foil from an aluminum pie pan. And I drew what's kind of like a weird Florida Lee pattern on it because that's the pattern I thought I was seeing on the pictures I was looking at. But when I got a different angle from a different view, I realized it was actually a pointed leaf. So I revised this later in the video. But to start with, I'm going to go on ahead and emboss this on one side using the one of my ball tools. 
and I don't have a large enough ball tool for the opposite side so I am going to use this section from a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, projectile something or other that came in a Happy Meal for my son. So it's got a rounded tip and it will work just fine to emboss the back section here. Obviously if you have a spoon or something else that has a rounded tip at the back you can feel free to use that. Now this is where I'm cutting my leaf out. So as you can see I made it a little pointier and if you've ever worked with paint and foil you know it doesn't go very well so I'm going to use an enamel paint for this and while normally I will use acrylic it takes a lot of coats and then you can just double the amount of coatage that you'll need for metallics so um, definitely the model paint would be essential if you wish to paint the back of this then I glued a smaller leaf onto the top of another curly cue, and this is going to be where the driver will sit. Then I made six additional leaves that I put along the bottom. I didn't make any details in the back, I just left them flat and glued them in place so they were pointing upward. Then I made small, four small curlicues and glued them to the side of a larger piece of wire. Glue them on one side and then as that dries you can glue this on the other. And I'm using super glue for this. And please forgive my desk, I'm working on two projects as once as usual and it's a mess. Just put that little section at the top and make sure everything else is glued in place and you're done. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate you. Please don't forget to go visit Walker Colors and her link for both her videos and for also her channel are in the description box. So don't forget to go by, look at her channel, watch her things and uh, say hi. Thanks guys. Bye.